Alright, so here we are. Back to the original. Um, stock ROM from EVO, or from Sprint, whatever. Uh, as you can see, I'm still rooted. Uh, where is it? Right here. Super user settings right there. So now, let's get to the good part. You're going to need two files. I mean, there's three, but you only need two of them. The G apps is optional, so it's it's up to you if you want it. This is the like files you're gonna need. It's the oh sorry, right there. Let's see if I can get it closer. Well, anyway, um, those are two files you need right here. I'll post them on the description of the video. Um, you all probably already know how to move it onto your SD card from your phone. It's basically you're gonna plug in your phone to USB like so just plug it in to your phone or USB and go to this drive done and once you do that just uh... you're gonna open up the file or it should do it here it'll pop up on your computer if anything yeah so open folder to be files and then from there, um, here, let me close this. Yes. Go down all the way to the bottom and just drag and drop. Okay, so that one's 115 megabytes. Um, you can delete it after the, the flashing pr uh, process. Um, so that, it, that it'll take a little while just to even move into your SD card. Drag and drop the other one as well. Oh, crap. So drag and drop right there. This one's 50.6 megabytes. This one, the second one, it's uh, it's all the themes I showed you. That way you have lots of options, you know, and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find one you'll like. So just let them load. I'm sorry, I have a runny nose. I'm a little under the weather right now, but hey. People have been asking before this video, I, I didn't want to let them down. Alright, um, they're about done, both of them. Once they are done, just close that and go back to your phone. And change it back to, um, charge only. Done, right? And, um... So from here, you can unplug it. You're gonna turn off your phone. Alright, turn it off. Power off. Okay. Alright, so it's off now. Hold down the volume down key and the power key. Alright, uh, let it do what it's going to do, it's going to just, just let it do the same, uh, it's SD checking, whatever, so then go down once on the volume key, your volume down key, and press power. This is going to boot it into recovery, where you can do your flashing. Alright, so... Let it go in. Sometimes it'll just shut off and just turn it back on with the volume down key and, and uh, power key, and it'll it'll take you. The, uh, just follow the same steps and it'll take you here after all. Like after all that crazy stuff. Well, anyway, um, go to wipe data factory reset. Click power. Go to yes. Let it do whatever it's gonna do. Alright, then you're going to do the white cache partition. Go ahead and click power and go to yes. Wipe. Okay. And then uh, you can go also to advance and white Dalvik cache. Go ahead and just click that and go to yes. Okay, and from there you can go back to your main screen. Go to install zip from SD card. Okay, and from there, here, let me get a better view. From there, you're going to go to 
choose zip from SD card, click power. And me, I like to install them in the bottom, or you can do it on top, it don't matter. And you want to flash the CM7EX destroyer slash signed at dot zip. Okay, so just click that, click power, go down to yes. Alright, and this is going to take a little while. I mean, it's going to install the update. It's okay, so. I'm just going to let it do what it's going to do right now, and uh, I'll start the video back up right now. So, uh, be patient, you know, it, it'll take a little lo uh, longer than than some others. It is a uh, bigger, you know, it is, a, what was it, 150 megabytes. So, just let it do what it's going to do. Alright, I'll start the video back up. Alright, now we're back. Uh, it says install from SD card complete. Uh, just click go to go back. Uh, click power and then you want to go ahead and reboot the system it's going to do this thing uh, don't worry about it it's nothing wrong with your phone or maybe there is no I'm just kidding um, so just let it do that um, I'm just going to reboot now the other file you're going to pretty much follow the same steps except you're not going to wipe any data, you're just going to go to straight to S, uh, install zip from SD card and go down and install the, it says themes on it, CM7EX, themes, whatever um, that gives you the themes um, but basically this is how you flash the destroyer ROM from CyanogenMod7 a lot of people have been asking about it, it does improve your battery life you know, uh, there's a day that I went with my phone without charging it, and it was uh, a day and 14 hours. This is the new startup screen that you're going to have instead of the the Evo, whatever. So, I mean, it's something different, you know. Okay. So, uh, once it does that... It'll go up to your new ROM. So, just waiting on this to finish. Like I said in the beginning, it does take a little longer because it's creating your Dalvik file and doing all this crazy stuff. And here we go. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. Um, I just use ADW launcher. So click that. And here, here's a little tutorial mode that gives you a lot of different things. Okay. So here. Um, now you have Sanage or the Destroyer ROM. And once you install the themes, you can go here to Theme Chooser, and it'll give you the the rest of the themes, which is ten of them. Um, here's the black one. Let's go ahead and try that real quick. Switch that. Switching to Dark Ginger. That's what it says. So this is what it does. Of course, like I said. Uh, it's best when you restart, reboot your phone, and it'll install everything. Here's the new phone. See how it's all nice and dark. Um, so, I mean, like I said, it's highly customizable. I mean, it's the best out there, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, this is how you install Destroyer ROM. Um, for your HTC Evo 4G, um, best one out there, and hope you like it. Uh, subscribe and like so I can make other videos, guys. Thanks.